New Orleans, Louisiana, here I am again, the epicenter of Southern comfort and hospitality. There's no city in America with a more vibrant culture connected to its roots than New Orleans, the home of Cajun and Creole cuisine, and also the home of legendary redfishing, which is where we come in. So sit back and join me for a weekend of Southern fly fishing. Welcome to Woodland Plantation. The Woodland Plantation is about 35 minutes from the city of New Orleans and it's about 40 minutes from the southernmost point in Louisiana. It's settled right on the banks of the Mississippi and surrounded by some of the richest marshland in the world. Built in the 1830s by Captain William Johnson, it was originally a sugar cane plantation. And in 1998, the current owner, Foster Crapel, moved a historic church that had been left abandoned in the bayou to the plantation and renovated it to the Spirits Hall you see today. We started our first day out on the Mississippi, heading south to the Canes on the hunt for giant redfish with our friend and guide, Travis Huckabee. We were, of course, using the plantation crab, and it didn't let us down.
god, that's a big fish. Whew. Okay, you ready? Make, yeah. make it quick, because I'm running out of energy. He gave you a bit. <laughs> it's all about seeing them in time. We won't spook them, you know? <laughs> Dude, he's uh, taking me for a ride. We got this. Just gotta do a little nipping, dude. There we go. Strong. Oh. fat in here. Huh? They're fat in here. I know. Oh. Plantation crab, huh? No benign. Man, they eat that fly. They eat the fly. Yeah. So as you've seen here, friends, uh, the plantation crab, it's where it's at for me. Uh, it's, you know, I've been playing around with some other flies. We've got these new spoon minnows. I've been throwing gallops, belly bumper. Uh, of course, game changers catch fish, but I keep coming back to the plantation crab. It's my go-to, and it has been for almost 10 years now. And, you know, I, I've tied this fly here on YouTube, and I told the story, but I'll tell it again real quick. And, uh, the story involves Foster Crapel, uh, the woodland plantation, and cocktails. And uh, one night we were tying some flies and uh, had an idea in my mind and just whipped this thing up. And uh, I've been fishing this fly down here in Louisiana ever since. Uh, I've got people that call me up and want to order them. Of course, now it's available on our website. We are having these custom tied, so uh, we should have a good supply of them. But, uh, the plantation crab, uh, I've caught redfish all over, all over the south. I've caught permit on it in uh, the Bahamas and uh, Belize. Uh, just a great fly. It comes in the lead eye and then I do the, uh, the uh, bee chain eye for real shallow water if the fish are real spooky. So, uh, you know, we've got a lot of believers, Nash Roberts, uh, Captain Eddie Adams, and now our good friend, Travis Huckabee. He's on board, he's a plantation crab junkie now. No question, so there you go. Get yourself some plantation crabs if you're coming to the Gulf for redfish. I'd been fighting big redfish all afternoon and my arms had been through a full workout. I was pretty well exhausted. As the clouds and rain began to roll in, seeing redfish became more and more difficult. With Travis up on the platform, Despite the low visibility conditions, he managed to spot a monster redfish tailing in about two foot of water. Turns out this redfish would beat my personal best by a long shot. And it was really kind of funny. We had just had a discussion about our personal best. Travis saying the largest fish he'd seen caught on a fly rod was 42 pounds, my personal best being 28 pounds. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Can you believe the size of these fish? I know you can, Travis, but my God. 
I mean, this is just... I grew up red fishing in Florida. <laughs> in the Everglades. It ain't nothing like this. No, he's just a pig, dude. He is a pig. He is a pig. Look at the size of that fish. Oh my God. Oh, no way. Well, your biggest fish ever if you've only caught a 28. 28's my biggest. Well, bro, you just broke that by a mile marker. Because you don't even know how big that I don't. Toad. I didn't think it was that big. The freaking. <laughs> I, I am. Oh my god, look at the mouth on that Dude, fish. I didn't know it was that. I'll get that, I'll get that in a minute. <sighs> 39 pounds. 39 pound redfish. I just broke my personal best by 11 pounds. Huh? I can't. Uh. This is a fish. I'm gonna hold this. You try to grab the fish. I'm gonna oh. support you. Okay. You're gonna get slime today. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, he's like a 40 pounder. I already measured. Oh. Oh. oh my God. We just want to work him on. Oh, he's ready to go whenever. I mean, he stayed just good and healthy too. Well, Travis, man, <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say, man. <laughs> words, words can't describe what we just experienced. I mean, yeah. That's right. Uh, <clears throat> my personal best, uh, and I broke my personal best by 11 pounds, and, and that's maybe your second largest fish ever on a fly rod? That's right, that's right. I mean, my goodness. And, but, you know, last night I was kind of busting you a little bit about that uh, we wanted to come down here and <clears throat> get get a really big fish on that's camera. Right. and. And you know, you know that I'm just kind of playing around. And of, of course, we like to catch big fish. But not only did we get my personal best, but I mean, we got several fish, four or five fish over 20 pounds. Oh yeah, in yeah. the boat today. Yeah. On on low light day, man, you were doing it. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're down here in Louisiana, obviously below Venice. And uh, I mean, Travis, what an amazing fishery! I mean, this has to be the best trophy red fishing on the planet yeah it's a special place for sure i mean you've been doing this for how long down 13 here? years no kidding yep. what what an honor i mean the, this i mean we have seen so many giant redfish today and it's it's cloudy yeah, just like this man it's if just... if we would have had sunlight all day today oh, i mean there's, there's no, just unlimited shots there's <laughs> unlimited we would have been throwing at 20 30 and close to 40 pound redfish all day long. Well, we've thrown it. Yeah, we've thrown at them at our feet, you know? Yeah. And you did good. I mean, we were snagging them. We've thrown, we've thrown <laughs> at them all day long. I can't imagine if we had good weather and good conditions. So, um, you know, like I said, I was, I was joking around last night, but man, we just shattered my personal record for redfish on the fly. Um, you know, I would say let's keep after it, but I can't. I, that's a good problem. I, I could I couldn't hold that fish. He had to <laughs> help me. He problem. had to help me hold that fish. So so man, thanks for everything yes, that you do and to, that you do for our groups. And it's always a pleasure fishing with you. So uh, you know we'll hope to uh, get after it again tomorrow. And then uh, of course uh, come down and fish New Orleans with us, Louisiana. Uh, Travis will be one of your guides. That's for sure. I'm not gonna. You're not gonna get fired at this point. <laughs>
It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too. We're alive. We're sipping on some shit.